guys welcome back to the channel settings war time baby let's go me versus richard malcolm now richard malcolm he likes a 73 game noise on high tvg on off we're gonna do this cut on moss what a few of the complaints i had were i'm not choosing the proper color uh for, you know, when a guy sends it in, you know, I'm choosing a color that's best for my settings and so forth. So I let these two anglers, uh, we're going to do one today and one tomorrow, choose their color pattern. Both of them decided to go with moss. That is their favorite color. So Richard has 73 gain noise high TVG off color gain 83 to 84 color limit 30 and a ghost tree at auto. Now, I don't know what their uh, focus is and all that, but uh, my unit is set up pretty good. So what we're going to do is with mine versus theirs, and we'll see who wins. Let's go. Here's my settings, 68 gain, you know that, 80 color gain, zero color limit, noise control on medium, TVG on low. Um, I use the same depth settings that uh, that I'm going to use on both of them, try to be as fair as possible. Um, um, I'm using the color moss. I let the angler choose the moss color. Now, one thing you can see is right here, you see these little bands right up under the zero feet. What that is, is it's actually picking up the trolling motor prop because what I'm doing is I'm just scanning back and forth, left and right with the live foot. Uh, it's actually on both readings. It's a little bit right there, you can see it. And that is actually the prop spinning. Um, I started on 40 feet and then I come into about 30. Uh, this is moss. Remember, you lose a little bit of detail with moss uh, just because of you, you gain what you gain in brightness. You're going to lose a little bit of detail uh, in the moss. But uh, to me, these are great images. Uh, the background's very clear, not a lot of clutter. You just see fish, bait fish. Uh, these are all dock posts that I'm around. Now we're going to go to his. Um, he likes a little bit hotter gain. Um, I'm, I'm about 65 gain. He likes 73. Um, you know, and so there's a few other things he changes in here. He likes noise reject on high. Me, I don't like to fish on high because it does put a delay in it, but it does does shoot for a you know a more beautiful uh, return. Now he turns the TVG off, so you notice up in the left hand corner a little bit more noise, a little bit more uh, artifact in the water. Um, he likes his ghost retreat re uh, reject on auto. I don't use it at all. Uh, I just don't use the ghost reject. Um, not saying it's completely useless. I have used it on a couple of anglers, but I don't. But you notice all the rays, how they're showing up. That's a result of the TVG. He likes his color gain on about 84 and his color limit on about 30. Uh, I just don't notice much what, what happens much with thir color limit. Um, uh, on moss, it, 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 it doesn't do much. It kind of just has that, that hummingbird. But I could start off at 40. And then I come back into 30, um, just trying to do the same, you know, sweeping side to side. This is going to be a really, really, really tight uh, contest battle. Um, the one thing I see without the TVG is a little bit less target separation throughout the picture. That's not saying that his picture is bad. Uh, it definitely fits him real well. But I see a little bit less target separation due to the TVG not filtering out some of those uh, lighter returns, which is what happens in between the fish. Now, remember, when it's filtering out lighter returns, it could be bubbles. It could be a lot of different things. So you guys let me know in the comments who you think. I don't know, guys. Did I get beat? Remember, Richard or Guru, comment in the uh, comments below who you think won. If he beats me, going to send him a free hat. Just that much fun because this is what this is about. This isn't about proving that mine and his is better than he is. What it's about proving is there's more than one way to possibly get to the settings that are best for you. Because sometimes, even myself, I get stuck on certain settings and I don't experiment as much as I should. This right here helps me learn to experiment and try different things. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Leave All right, guys, video. adding this little part in here at the end. Um, Scott Pace, you won the fish vault giveaway for the Garmin Striker Fish Fighter. Scott Pace. So, Scott, uh, email me your address at thegarminguru at gmail.com, and I'm going to get that sent out to you free. Thank you so much for everybody else that entered, and I hope you all enjoyed today's video.